We're so happy to welcome you all to this wonderful ceremony to mark uh, the beginning of the redevelopment of the Public School 6 complex into a beautiful mixed income housing for the city of Yonkers. We're here. I don't think there's a person here who hasn't helped with the planning for this effort over the last 10 years. It's been a long time in coming and we're just thrilled that in the last couple of years all of the forces have come together to bring the financing to bear to make it happen. And it's a joyous event and I want to welcome you all and turn the uh, podium over to my partner Joe Schuldner from the Municipal Housing Authority of Yonkers. I'm Sue McCann, the developer for the project um, from the Community Builders. Community Builders is a nonprofit organization that believes that people of all incomes should be able to reach their potential in the communities they live in. So I want to turn it over to Joe and say thank you for coming. Thank you, Sue. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, <clears throat> from the first time that I uh, met um, Mayor Spano, before he was mayor, the first question he asked me is, one of these buildings coming down? <laughs> Uh, it's it's taken longer. I, I don't know why it always seems to take longer than one hopes or, or expects. I, I don't know if it has to do with money or whatever, but at last the uh, the day is here. And uh, I know from the housing authority's perspective, um, we're really uh, grateful for our partnership with the city, uh, the, the city uh, giving us this site and letting us uh, make our next redevelopment effort here and in uh, Cottage uh, Possible. We really appreciate the support we've gotten all along in this. Of course, we, we appreciate our partnership uh, with the community builders and hopefully they'll come, but obviously we have a partnership uh, with HUD. I wish they would provide more money, but I can say that while they're not here. Um, but so I would really like to, uh, I'm very pleased to introduce uh, the mayor of the city of Yonkers, uh, who, as I said, from the beginning, this has been something he's wanted to have done, and we're just uh, thrilled that we can produce this. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Joe. And, and Susan, thank you. Uh, this is another great day for Yonkers. Uh, today is a symbolic of the great change that's happening here in our city. Um, while School 6 holds uh, many memories for a lot of us, I know that some of the people here today actually went to School 6, graduated School 6, and uh, and it's been, but it's been 30 years, 30 years since it's been closed and 30 years since it's been fallen into uh, disrepair. And uh, it's time for renewal. And this marks the transformation of this area, but more importantly, transformation of the Ashburton Avenue corridor, uh, which is the, the gateway to the waterfront and the waterfront development. Uh, the building will be home to 121 apartments when this is raised and redone. Uh, mixed income apartments, mixed uh, having seniors together with young families. Uh, and this is the taking care of Yonkers residents who want nothing more than to stay here in our city and be a part of this city's future. So I want to thank the collaborative effort between uh, the city and our partners, uh, especially our state. Uh, this stuff doesn't happen. We can't get this to happen unless we get an infusion of big dollars from our state. And here uh, is our state senator, Andrea Stewart Cousins, who you hear from later, uh, who is a leader in this effort to make this happen. I want to say thank you, Senator Cousins. And thank you, Assemblywoman Shelley Mayer. And certainly thank you to our great governor, uh, our great governor of this state, Andrew Cuomo, for uh, his efforts of bringing down those additional dollars that we needed to make this a reality. Uh, the community builders, the Municipal Housing Authority, Joe, and, and the great work you guys have done. Uh, again, to not just Senator Cousins, uh, but also Assemblyman Gary Pretlow, who can't be here today, but uh, has always somebody that we can count on. The federal and state agency, the Empire State Development, and the New York State Home and Community Renewal. And obviously, let's not forget HUD. We need more money from HUD, but let's not forget that their, their work. Schoolhouse Terrace will be a place to come. Uh, after school uh, and after work, it'll be a place where uh, residents will support Yonkers' local economy and take part in civic activities and make up the life of our great city. Uh, Schoolhouse Terrace will be a place where you can come live, work, and raise a family. 
which is what we want in Yonkers as we move forward. So uh, while we face many challenges, and so, so do the other cities in our great state, uh, we are meeting those challenges head on and providing a place for our residents to live. Um, I'm proud to stand here today and look at this building as part of our past, but very much the future of our city. And uh, Yonkers is that place, that great place to live and work and raise a family and a place for the future. So uh, I want to say again, thank you to everyone. And uh, with that, uh, I imagine we're going to be letting other members. Am I introducing some of the You can do it if you want. Let me, let, me, um, let me start by introducing our state senator, Andrea Stewart Cousins. Again, uh, someone that we could not be able to. There's no way we could make this project happen without her. So I'd like to ask her to come on and say a few words. Senator. Good afternoon and, and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. He's he's uh, very, very generous today in his praise of all of us and everybody here, I think, as as the mayor said and as Joe said, uh, is invested in making this project successful and timely and meaningful to to the city of Yonkers, the region, and frankly, an example of what all levels of government can do when we work together. And of course, he's mentioned my assembly partner, uh, Shelley Mayer and Gary Pretlow, but the whole idea of this building still maintaining the, the I understand it'll still maintain the, the facade uh, so that when you talk about schoolhouse terrace and you talk about a gateway, it looks like that. But instead of, and you know, my office is right down by behind the, the library, and I live, this is my neighborhood. And in order to get to my office, I pass this building every day. And I didn't like what it said. And nobody in this community who just wants as the mayor was saying, an opportunity to live in a safe, thriving community that is respected because of what is surrounding it. This was not really what this community is about. So to bring down something that was really an eyesore and to erect a place where people can live and enjoy, have a memory of the past, but the promise of a future is really what this is about. And the state being a partner in this is really why I came. I want to thank the governor. I want to thank the regional economic development process, which brought $29 million to this project. I want to thank HUD and ask them to do more because yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right Hi. <laughs> everybody else asked you for more but you weren't here <laughs> however I'm glad that we got a chance to, to again thank you because this is an incredibly meaningful and it's been going on for a long time as Joe Schuldiner has said the people in Cottage Place Gardens have been waiting for an opportunity to have upgraded housing and this is going to bring that so again, thank you so much, and, and let the building be in, begin, and thank you, community builders, as well. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. I'd like to ask uh, Assemblywoman uh, Shelly Mayer to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and I, I'm really the lucky one because I inherited uh, the work that Mayor Spano and Senator Stewart Cousins and Assemblyman Gary Pretlow did on the state level in making this come to pass. But I think it's a great example of what we can do when we work together, when we create real public-private partnerships with money, but not only with money, but with the commitment to get good things done for our community. So with that, I want to give credit to those who really made this happen, and I look forward to seeing it day by day as I drive up and down, get to be a wonderful, thriving place for this community. Thank you. Thank you.
I also uh, the former councilwoman uh, Simmer Brendan is here today. Thank you, Simmer, for being here. Uh, Jeff Williams, who's the planning commissioner for the city of Yonkers. Uh, Jeff, good to see you here. Uh, Melvina Carter, who's also a, a resident here of, of our community and also president of the Yonkers Industrial Development Agency. Thank you for being here today as well. Uh, I'd like to uh, ask our council president and some of the council members that you'd like to say a few words. Council President Chuck Lesnar. Thank you. I'm uh, surrounded by my Democratic colleagues, Christopher Johnson, who represents the district, Councilman Sabatino, and of course our Majority Leader, Wilson Torero, who is also the, uh, the real estate chair. Um, you know, when Mike Mayor, Mayor Spano asked uh, Joe Schulender when this building could be raised, that was an appropriate question for when he took office. But when I took office seven years ago, the appropriate question was, how do we save this building? And it's unfortunate that in those seven years, we couldn't save the building. And I'm thrilled that we're saving the, the iconic facade that we're going to move and, and, and remind us all. But let this really be a clarion call to the city that we should preserve our assets. And whether they be School 19 or Boyce Thompson or Longfellow School or so many of the other buildings that we have, we shouldn't let it go 30 years of being vacant because then nature takes care of uh, it. And, and again, to my friends in the preservation community, uh, when we support the adaptive reuse of buildings, we also have to make it economically feasible because we can't burden historic structures with restrictions unless we then provide incentives to make it financially possible to happen. So I'm thrilled that this project is moving forward, uh, that the residents of this community that we serve, and as Senator Stewart Cousin said, the fixing broken windows aspect of needing to clean up our own stock so that the folks in the community know that we respect them and we respect the community. So uh, with that, carry on before another moment goes by and another brick falls down. <laughs> one, one, one other quick thing, Roberta Robinson is here today representing Gary Pretlow, so I want to say thank you. And I'd like to ask uh, Christopher Johnson to come up. You can stand with us. And, and with Christopher Johnson, who is the councilman for this area, to get up and obviously a very important partner. In, in revitalization and moving Yonkers forward. That's Christopher Johnson. Thank you. The one thing that I always uh, tell the mayor is that the reputation of Yonkers, the way people see this city, is how people see the first district. And so as we transform School 6 into housing, into the beginnings of a new neighborhood, we begin to transform, or we continue, rather, to transform the mindsets of people who look to visit the city, of people who, when they see Yonkers on a map, have one thing to say, but now they're going to have something different to, to say. They're going to continue to say, Yonkers is a place where they come up with innovative ideas. Yonkers is a place where they find solutions to problems. Yonkers is a place with the federal government in HUD, with the state government in Andrew Cuomo, and our state representatives like Senator Stuart Cousins and Assemblywoman Shelley Mayer want to continue to invest. And because our government will continue to invest, because families will grow here, Yonkers will be a better place. What does New Beginnings look like? New Beginnings looks like this. It looks like the faces of those people in the crowd who went to this school, who graduated from this school, and who now get to look and say, my neighborhood will continue to be improved. My neighborhood will continue to be a good place to live. My neighborhood will bring in new people, new money, new dollars, new funding to make sure that we continue to grow as a city and that we continue to be an attractive place that people want to come. So I want to thank you all the partners from municipal housing to the mayor to the state and federal government for all that you have done to make sure that the gateway to the city of Yonkers is preserved. Thank you very much. Uh, I just wanted to take this uh, opportunity to introduce uh, three of our commissioners are here. Uh, Jack McDonald, Larry Sansone, and James Simmons. Um, Luigi Dancona is the public housing director of the New York office of HUD. And the gentleman in green back there, not the police officer, but Mr. Kaloran is a longtime uh, partner with the authority from Habitat. Uh, we really appreciate them uh, all being here. And as you can see, uh, 
this really is has to be a collaborative effort, uh, as um, the, the mayor and, uh, and, and understood cousin state senator mentioned. The main funding for this is is the state. Thirty million of the fifty two million or so is coming from the state. Uh, I, I wish HUD still gave out thirty million dollar grants, but they don't. But. We're thankful for whatever we do get. I, I should say this demolition is actually being paid for by the federal government through Brownfield's money. So uh, we, we, it, really is, uh, it really is a partnership, and, uh, and this is just uh, fantastic. And we look forward um, being, well, three, four, three to four months for a groundbreaking and 14 to 15 months for a grand opening. Thank you. Just one more thing before the, we um, have a little celebration event, and that is that any of you who actually attended PS6 as a school, we'd love to talk to you and get your stories, and if you have old photographs, we'd love to have copies because we're going to have the lobby of the senior building decorated with mementos from public school six, um, as well as putting the arch in place. And so we're very interested in reaching out to people in the community who have stories to tell. Um, I'll be around and you can get my card and then we can maybe have an appointment to talk on the phone or in person. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Now here we are at the court where we have all been waiting for. If everyone kind of look behind me here. The gentleman in the, in the bulldozer. Let's continue this demolition and let's uh, continue to move Yonkers forward. Thank you and God bless everyone.